right guys uh, this is one of the informational videos that um, I uh, want to share this is uh, a cyber truck totally driving itself you can see my hands I'm not holding anything and I uh, just wanted in this series of videos to show what you can look forward to in the future and the very near future because this is already happening see my hand I am totally not driving this vehicle I just have to supervise uh, you can see um, the uh, car knows where it's going and I want to hide this camera because the vehicle will totally ban me from driving if I if it can detect this camera if you can hear a little hum that is the hum of the uh, pump which is currently circulating a heated fluid through the battery and if I'm gonna be quiet for five minutes I want to see if you can detect that hum that is the battery and the car preconditioning the battery by circulating warm fluid which is nothing but just a coolant uh, um, fluid through the battery to get it to an optimal charging temperature a tesla will absolutely park itself a lot of vehicles have this technology this is no big deal what i'm doing is i'm gonna select this parking right that's where i want to park the car and all i have to do is start and the vehicle will absolutely do all the work for me there is no need to position itself you can see that particular location is where the car is going and i can promise you this car will park itself way better than i ever will be able to park it so i'm at the supercharger i uh, basically have connected um there are 25 um chargers here i'm gonna try and get a a better view so you can have a better appreciation of what these charging stations look like and about cars charging at level three direct current charging 210 up to as high as 250 kilowatts per hour and uh that is level three charging that is very fast right now in nigeria you're gonna see chargers right around 40 to 60. we actually have our chargers that are in the country now are actually 180 kilowatt chargers specifically for our brt buses so this is level three charging level two charging is what you would have at home it, it is alternative alternating current charging so let's look at the speeds level two charging will be right around anywhere from seven kilowatts to maybe 11 kilowatts per hour now compare that to 250 kilowatts per hour at dc charging now there are also level one chargers which are trickle chargers that you can plug into the outlet in the house now fair warning my recommendation is you actually do not charge your electric vehicle in nigeria in a level one charger saglev does not recommend that and we actually do not give our customers level one chargers with their car even if the car came with a level one charger and the simple reason is that our construction codes in Nigeria are not reliable. You will find people wire their homes with a three amp to five amp cable, which is way lower than what you would even recommend. You're talking about 15 to 30 amps uh, wires. So you can understand why there is a fire risk when you do that. So anyway, uh, we do not recommend level one charging unless we installed it by ourselves and we can verify that the wiring is at least 15 to 30 kilo uh, uh, 15 to 30 amps wiring so anyway a few uh, interesting tidbits um 
I'm uh, really excited to be able to make these videos and share with you. This is the future. It's coming. It's already here. It's not coming. This is the lives that we are going to live uh, uh, ongoing. So, um, yeah. All right. So this is a quick video I want to make uh, that will explain why it doesn't make sense to charge your car fully, even on a trip. The car has algorithms, Tesla has algorithms to figure out how much you need to charge for your next available charger. And this is a cardinal example. If you notice that the car started charging actually at 250 kilowatts then it went down to um, 180 now we're only charging at 109 kilowatts well I'm saying only because you know I can charge up to 250 the reason is that the more full the battery is the slower it will actually charge or put it another way the fuller the battery the harder it is to fill it up all right little nugget that i needed to share i definitely needed to share this so i've been drinking all these liquids all the way and now guess what as an old man i need to pee so apparently you can if you go to the user uh if you click on there it actually tells you the code for the lounge there is a lounge here lounge code is this code here i will uh, enter and i can hang out at the lounge so yeah so this car you can see look at my feet i'm not driving this car i have all right i don't want to be caught so for some reason the car figured out i wasn't behaving myself so but uh, let's see, it's going to totally navigate itself. See, I just need to prove to the car that I'm supervising, but it's doing all the work. You can see, my, so it knows, oh, interesting. Look at the stop sign. It will stop for the stop sign. It will watch out for other vehicles. So for the skeptics that do not believe that cars can totally 100% drive themselves, Here's an example. Really excited that um, uh, Saglev can bring this to you, show you some tidbits. This is the future. It's already here. And uh, please just join us on this journey. It is going to be fantastic. Thank you all.